Is AI or artificial intelligence changing the landscape for different IT positions? So in this video, we will discuss which IT roles are most impacted by AI. Now, speaking of positions, some people call it cybersecurity, some people call it network engineer, some people call it application developer, but in reality, there are many positions. They're not all the same, yes. They may overlap as well, but there are many different specializations. So I will ask my friend, ChatGPT, which roles are the most affected by AI. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like Nice Video Dean from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Rwanda, Fiji. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Caracas, Cordoba, Orlando, etc. And also, don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. I'm here in a web browser that I don't normally use and I'm not even logged in so that ChatGPT won't understand our past discussions and past conversations. So let's begin. First, I need to click this stay logged out. And uh, yes, uh, we'll now gonna ask ChatGPT uh, what are the most affected or yeah what are the most affected network engineer role by ai and we'll ask it to rate one to five out of five and here are the various roles so i'll just copy paste i have like eight of these uh, different network engineering related roles actually the first one is not network engineering this is network technician so basically it doesn't configure it doesn't design it doesn't troubleshoot well actually it does troubleshoot and design but on a hardware level so these are the people who connects cables fibers what else they, they are also the one who rack and mount those network devices in the rack obviously uh network solutions engineers sometimes we call this uh, pre-sales engineers there's the one who designs or architect various network solutions network implementation engineer sometimes we call this network post engineer so basically they're the one who implement and do the initial configuration okay knock engineer uh, network operations center engineer now this may overlap in many other network specializations but basically they're the one who works 24 7 in shifting and uh, they may maintain or manage uh, enterprise networks, service providers. Uh, it can also be related to network security, etc. Network engineer, excuse me, network automation engineer. These are network engineers who focuses on automation. Basically, they're the one who do Python networking. Uh, what else? Uh, Python network automation as well. Uh, Ansible, what else? Software defined networking and many others. Voice and video network engineer. These are network engineers who also manages uh, IP connectivity. Excuse me, not IP connectivity. Uh, IP telephony. What else? Telepresent. Basically, voice and video or, co or collaboration platforms. Wireless network engineers. These are network engineers who um, also uh, do site surveying, uh, radio frequency. Uh, troubleshooting and analysis, etc. They center network engineers. Uh, th these are uh, network engineer who focuses on switching, but on a data center level. So if you're familiar with Arista or or uh, F5, what else? Um, Cisco Nexus. Those are uh, data center networking platforms. Uh, also, they uh, troubleshoot. They maintain uh, the virtualization network level as well. Uh, what else? Oh, container network level as well. Uh, network security engineer, these are the network engineers who doesn't only maintain and manage uh, routers and switches, but also other security platforms, such as next generation firewalls, VPN, IDS and IPS, NDR, or even malware protection. So I'm gonna click this button, okay? And let's see, rated one to five, five is the most affected. Uh, network technician it says four out of five um this one i don't really agree because network technician like what i mentioned they maintain or they uh, uh their task is more on the hardware they're the one who carries network devices what else cabling fiber optics can ai do that absolutely not 
So network technician, I don't agree. Um, probably it should be the high, one of the highest, if not the highest, because hardware or physical level task cannot be done by AI, or at least not in this uh, era. Okay, maybe if you have robots who will carry your network equipments, who will supply, who will connect uh, cables, maybe. Okay, but not today. <laughs> uh, not this era. Network solutions engineer, two out of five. Not really that affected because it involves designs, consulting, and uh, harder to automate. AI yeah, will assist, not replace. Network implementation engineer, medium impact. Some deployments and configuration of tasks can be automated via SDN, but physical tasks and customization reduce full automation. Knock engineer, oh, uh, probably this is the only role that scores five out of five very high impact because of the monitoring what else uh incident response uh this can be taken over by ai ops and automated remediation systems network automation engineer oh this is the least affected because you're the one who doing the automated task right uh so if you're the one who knows how to create this automation or maintain these automations uh, you're the guy. You're the most in demand. Okay. Uh, what else? Voice and video network engineer. Three out of five. Uh, wireless network engineer. Three out of five. So you can see. You still need to do site surveying. Uh, what else? Uh, most of these are physical aspects. Uh, because I don't think, or at least, um, AI cannot fully replace wireless network engineering. Um, what else? Data center network engineer. Four out of five. Okay. So. If you're going to talk about automation, SDN, and maybe AI-based uh, networking tasks, it, it's more focused on the data center network level. Okay, uh, Network security engineer, not much impacted because it's security. Okay, uh, but Human oversight, contextual analysis, and policy definition remain critical. So there you go. So it, it, the summary is the most affected are not engineer. Network technician, again, I don't agree. Data center, data center network engineer, moderately affected. Well, I would say most of the roles is just three out of five. Obviously, the network technician should be three out of five or two out of five. Um, uh, there are only few that is, that is not much affected, like the network automation engineer, what else? Network solutions engineer and network security engineer. But yeah, um, I, I think I am satisfied with the result except for the network technician. Now let's continue, but this time uh, not network engineering but cybersecurity. So we'll ask again ChatGPT the most affected cyber security role by AI rate one to five. And here are the roles. I have like eight more or less. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's have a little review. So, digital forensic investigator, not related to SOC, GRC analyst, penetration tester, SOC engineer, cloud security engineer. So, in our previous uh, video, I combined cloud security, application security engineer, but this time uh, I will separate this to application security and DevSecOps engineer. I combined it. Uh, the security solutions and implementation engineer, I also combined it, but now we will separate it. Okay, because one is post sales, one is pre sales. Okay, I'm gonna click this button now and uh, let's see uh, the result. All right, so DF investigator, three out of five, uh, some automation is in evidence analysis. GRC, uh, four out of five, uh, because risk assessment, pulse generation, and compliance mapping can be semi automated. Penetration testers, okay, a lot of people think that. You know, penetration testing can be all automated, can be driven by AI, but no, you know, hacking, you may use many different tools, uh, intelligent or AI based tools, but I don't think it will totally replace AI. And look at the result, two out of five. AI tools can assist in basic recon or fuzzing, but real penetration tests requires creativity, logic, and adversarial thinking. Hard to automate fully. Uh, SOC engineer, oh, like knock engineer, uh, it got the perfect score, score 5 out of 5. It's heavily affected, AI-driven threat detection, alert triage, etc. Cloud security engineer, okay, 3 out of 5, medium impact. 
Cloud security is complex and evolving. AI helps with misconfiguration, detection, etc. Application security and DevSecOps engineer. AI helps identify code vulnerabilities, but deep security integration with SDLC and secure coding practices require human oversight. So this is actually um, um, expected. Like DevSecOps, DevOps and DevSecOps, you're the one who doing the automation okay, and the intelligent features of your application as well as your security. So yeah, it shouldn't be affected. Security implementation engineer, hold on. Oh yeah, two out of five, not really heavily affected. Security implementation engineer can be automated, especially uh, this various platforms, CM, EDR, firewalls, less so in bespoke architecture or hybrid environment. Okay, so four out of five is too much. Uh, just like the network engineer uh, or network implementation engineer, I, would th I think I would score this three out of five, not four out of five. Okay, uh, because, you know, implementation, sometimes you can use AI tools or automated tools, but it should not affect uh, solely or completely, not heavily, 4 out of 5, come on. Uh, secure solutions engineer, this is pre-sales consulting or architecture level. Um, obviously, uh, this involves uh, human interaction. So, AI supports but doesn't really automate okay so here's the summary the most affected is SOC engineer GRC analyst again I'm not uh, agree on security implementation engineer uh, list of by the way DF investigator which is basically you investigate those uh, hacking using mobile investigator tools or DF tools um, yeah I, I will put this I will score this four out of five okay not three out of five Okay, um, cloud security engine, and, and by the way, not only, uh, not only mobile related, but of course, file carving, memory dumps, I, I think you can use AI or more automation than this. Now, list affected, penetration tester, and my favorite, application security and DevSecOps engineer. What else? Security solutions engineer as well. Here's my advice. This is a good career strategy. Focus with multiple specializations. For network engineer, for example, it would be network automation and network solutions or network security engineering. And for cybersecurity, I will mention this again and again, cloud and application security. And uh, it's also a good idea to combine it with security solutions engineering. And uh, you can also do web application penetration testing, uh, combine it with application security. So you have both web offense and web defense uh, knowledge. And uh, I always put GRC related roles as not priority. Okay, if you get the opportunity, by all means, go ahead, take it. It's just that it's better to work with various technology first before you do policies and compliance. Now, network security, network automation, application security, and cloud security will always be close to my corazon. These are real good specializations. Do you agree with me?